The title collector is here. The following is an eight-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring, representing the Ultimate Maniacs from West Newbury, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, John Cena! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain. This guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Workhorse and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. I don't think anybody in WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! The Beast Incarnate has been involved in some of WWE's biggest matches. He's always a spectacle to see in action. And there are undoubtedly more unforgettable moments on their way. It's time to do it the Cowboy way. You think there's any limit at all to the carnage that's to come here tonight? Oh, Saxton, you know better. We should expect nothing short of total decimation. <laughs> of course, Lesnar's never one for holding back. The Beast wins decisively. The Beast wins by ripping guys apart. And representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan. This man changed sports entertainment history on July 7th, 1996. Yeah. Oh, that night broke my heart. Hulk Hogan hey, turned whoa. his back on WCW, his Hulkamaniacs, and all of his allies to form the New World Order. Unmatched 
success in sports entertainment. Unmatched box office power and unmatched physique. Cole, what you gonna do when Hollywood runs wild on you? The dead man has returned. The entire WWE Universe is in absolute awe. What a moment. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the Undertaker. Sinners beware, your time has come. Enter the Reaper. You could say daring to confront the Phenom is like digging your own grave. Come on, let's go! The Undertaker will drag you through the depths of despair. When you see the Undertaker, you're witnessing one of the most amazing spectacles in sports entertainment history. Without question, Michael, a merciless force of destruction when The Undertaker is around, no one is safe. Defined dominance at WrestleMania year after year. One tombstone after the next. Fallen legends, fallen champions. The quest for everlasting life in WWE goes through the dead man, if you dare. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. The wrap of the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. And representing the Viking Raiders from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Well, love him or hate him, his career is off to an amazing start. You're right, Saxton. This guy nearly ended the 800-plus day universal title reign of Roman Reigns in just his third match. He's already earned victories over Rey Mysterio and The Miz. And Paul could add another milestone win to his resume tonight. And from Miami, Florida, 
Weighing in at 265 pounds, the Superstar. I don't always agree with it, but this Superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. The COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. And their opponent from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game. He spent his entire career accumulating power. Like a master chess player from DX to Evolution to the Authority, now behind the scenes in WWE and NXT. Triple H looks at every match as a threat to his power, and that's what keeps his motivation so strong. That's why you don't step to the throne of the King of Kings. The creator of the pedigree, a truly devastating move. Yeah, and he's mastered how, when, and where to utilize it. And yeah, the pedigree almost always guarantees the end for Triple H's opponent. I guarantee Triple H already has plans on when to use it tonight. A star-studded battle royal over the top rope. Elimination rules after going over the top rope.
headlock. Oh, cheap shot right above the eye. Oh, the Undertaker has been eliminated. Great power. Inverted suplex. Punch connects. Oh, has been He's eliminated. taking some good hits. for Lesnar. Triple H has been eliminated. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the the last ride. Is this what he needs for the win? Drop kick. Rock's looking sluggish. Things could be winding down for him. Set up for something in the corner. Uh, he's got him in trouble up on the top. Yes, the Black must be phased after this string of action. You don't see Lesnar flustered like this very often. Jarring back elbow. with a win like that. Show up, get the W, and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say.